you don't have to genuinely fly, don't do so. That's the message from the Israeli government, making Israel the first country to urge its citizens to refrain from international travel altogether following the outbreak of the coronavirus. This comes after several other countries have announced that they've identified cases of the virus on their soil over the past two days, including the United States and Latin America. Tuesday marked the first day since the beginning of the epidemic that more new cases were recorded abroad than in China, where the disease began. The coronavirus outbreak began back in December of 2019 in Wuhan, China, and has since infected over 80,000 people worldwide and killing more than 2,000 people. Israel has already banned the entry of any foreigners who have been to China, Hong Kong, Macau, Thailand, Singapore, South Korea, and Japan in the 14 days prior. All Israelis returning home from Italy must enter a 14-day home quarantine immediately, and the Israeli government is advising the cancellation of all international conferences or gatherings in Israel in the coming months. The Israeli health ministry has come under fire for panicking people and causing economic and diplomatic damage to the country in the process, but claim they'd prefer to make harsher measures now than be sorry later. El Al, Israel's premier airline, is warning that it and other Israeli carriers could collapse financially in a matter of just weeks if the health ministry continues to be so stringent with travel restrictions. El Al claims it's already sustained $50 million in damages due to the coronavirus. This comes as three more Israelis who were diagnosed from the coronavirus have recovered, with one patient slated to be discharged from an Israeli hospital and two more headed home from Japan.